Hello, this is Mr. Wilson again. It's certainly good to be with you and uh, work, work with you through this particular part of the project. All right, so today, we're, well, this particular video is how you're going to actually create the 90-45-45 uh, triangle actually out of material and using the timber cutter. Now, before uh, we did uh, I did. There is a video that shows you how to make the 90-45-45 triangle. So you'll use that to design your triangle. But now we're actually going to physically create this uh, triangle out of our 1 8 inch balsa wood material. Okay. So just like before, um, we're going to use our safety glasses. Okay. So make sure that you have your safety glasses on. Alright, so this is a right triangle, so with the 90-45-45. So two of your the two sides that are connected to the 90 degree angle, those are the same length, and then you have your hypotenuse. Okay, so what I need is I need two three-inch pieces, and for my hypotenuse, I need a piece that is 4.25 inches long. Okay, so I'm going to measure, remember our, our, our theme, measure twice, cut once. So I'm going to use two pieces that are three inches long. Okay, so I'm going to make my mark here at three inches. Then I'm going to need another one at three inches. Let's do this up here, maybe this is a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, and then I need one piece that is 4.25 inches long, which is our hypotenuse. Okay, let me just make sure I did that right when I measured it. Yep. Okay, so again, measure twice, cut once, so I'm going to double check my measurements. So three inches there. three inches and then 4.25 okay good so now I'm going to grab my timber cutter I'm done with my protractor here set that aside again make sure that your workspace is neat grab my timber cutter again please make sure to grab your timber cutter by the what by the base not by the blade Okay, so, and again, remember that you want to look at your wood through the left side of the timber cutter, okay, because you'll be able to see the blade, whereas there's a bar um, on the right-hand side that you won't be able to see exactly where the blade is cutting your material. So, you want to make sure that you line up that blade on the line that you drew. And there's one three-inch piece. and now my hypotenuse. Alright, so let's, so when we line this up together you'll see that it already is starting to kind of take shape. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This angle right here, this is um, a 40, this is a 90 degree angle. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this, cut both of these two pieces here at 45 degrees because two 45s make 90 degrees. But then I'm also going to cut these at 45 degrees, okay? Even though you might be saying, well, Mr. Wilson, when you cut them at 22.5 degrees, well, I could, I could try and figure that out on my timber cutter. But again, remember on your timber cutter, you only have uh, 60, 30, 45, and then 75 degree markings. So the easier way to do this is we're going to cut the, both of these ends at 45, but rather than have them connect directly together, we're actually going to slide uh, the hypotenuse into the bottom of your, uh, of your two sides. 
I'll show you how to do that, okay? All right, so I'm going to, again, cut my sides. Again, you'll see the 45-degree uh, mark here. Again, you'll slide your material right against that line. Make sure it's lined up with the corner, and then gently press down. Do the same thing on this side. And again, you want your angles cutting towards each other, okay? So just like you see this, okay? You should, might be able to zoom in on the video. So just how these are, that's how you're going to cut all of your angles facing each other, okay? So I'm going to put that aside, and then I'm going to cut the other two. too well. Again, this is my hypotenuse here. And my last cut is done. Alright, so gently tap out your timber cutter. All right. So now I am done with my timber cutter. Again, so I put put that aside. Now I'm going to get my perforated board. This is the first video that I'm going to show you with the perforated board, but promise I promise it will not be the last. All right. So you're going to put your perforated board over your blueprint, okay? Cuz again, as I showed you in class, you can see as you're gluing your project together, you can glue it on the perforated board and it will not stick. Okay, well it might stick a little bit but it will be easy to come off. Whereas if you try and glue it on your paper, then it would make your paper kind of icky and it must end up sticking to your paper and ripping your paper. Alright, so watch this. I'm going to put these two, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this uh, a little better. Okay, so these two corners, I'm going to put them together. So we have ourselves a nice 45 degree, or well, nice uh, 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to slide my hypotenuse. matching up with the perforated board a little bit. Some of the edges on the perforated board are sticking. Alright. And that's how you will do this particular project. So you see how the 45's match up? They match up here. And if you look, you'll see it fits almost perfectly over my original blueprint of the 90-45-45 triangle, okay? So, remember, when you glue these together, you do not pour glue. What you do is you glue the end, glue the end. Well, actually, the, uh, this one is gonna be the inside. Okay, attach those two pieces together, and that one, and then that here. And there is my 90, 45, 
45 triangle. Okay. Now what you can do is just leave it on your perforated board, let it dry, and you are finished.